Okonjo Iweila apologizes for posting fake photo. Nigerian's former finance minister Ungozi Nkojo Uwela has apologized for sharing a fake picture commending the Rwanda president for his government style of palliatives distribution. As COVID-19 outbreak continues to have harsh effects on citizens, countries across the world have offered food items to citizens to cushion the effects of the lockdown. Daily Post has reported that Iwela on her Twitter account on Wednesday shared a picture showing Rwanda government's style of distributing food items. However, Bashi Ahmad, media aide to President Mohamedou Buhari, took to his Twitter page commenting that the picture was not related to Rwanda. Ahmad wrote, while it's true that the Rwanda government is giving out palliatives, the picture does not originate from the East African country, but from Gambia. After a few hours, Iwela admitted posting the fake picture. She, however, noted that the focus of her message is for countries to adopt the safe way of handling food description. Her tweets read, Thanks to those who have drawn my attention to the food distribution picture I tweeted earlier today. A friend sent it to me as it's from Rwanda. Whether Gambia or Rwanda, the point I want us to focus on is that it's a safe way of handling food distribution. Meanwhile, Buhari's government have been criticized by Nigerians over what they describe as uncoordinated sharing of palliatives in the country amid the COVID-19 crisis. So people, this is the news reaching us um, at the moment. Um, Kojo Uwela has apologized for posting um, fake photos. However, she's, uh, she has stated that her main intention was to show to even Nigerian government how food items and food palliatives should be distributed um, to citizens. And the, the shocking thing for me here is that uh, after she um, posted that picture on her Twitter um, handle, it was um, Bashi Ahmad, a media aide to President Muhammad Buhari, that uh, um, took to his Twitter page to comment that the picture was not related to Rwanda. Uh, Mr. Ahmad, you you don't live in Rwanda, so I wonder how you knew that that was not um, um, Rwanda. It was a different country that it was Gambia. However, and uh, let's leave that aside. She has, however, apologized. But the main thing here, she's pointing that we should emulate the right style of um, distributing palliatives, food items. The other day we saw in Lagos where a loaf of bread was being shared to Lagosians. That is really is disturbing and worrying. You're sharing loaf of bread. I, I, I can't understand that. So she was, however, pointing out the right thing, pointing the government in the right direction. Even if you feel that that is the wrong um. It wasn't the right picture. It wasn't Rwanda at that point in time. It was a different country. But are you still doing the right thing? That's what Nigerians are asking you. We do understand she has apologized for that, but she stated that her main aim is for Nigerian government to do the right thing. And you still haven't done the right thing. You're quick to um, um, comment to say that picture is not right, but you still haven't done the right thing. Nigerians have been crying that you haven't done the right thing. The other day in, a, in another state, um, they brought people together to, to give them a piece of Indomie, one pack of Indomie per person. It's really unbelievable what Nigerian government is doing. So if you're really quick, um, Bashi Ahmad, media to, um, uh, the media aide to President Muhammad Buhari, if you are really quick to comment, be quick about adjustment. Speaking to Muhammad Buhari, to do the right thing that is what nigerians want we want to these palliatives we are still not it's still not cushioning anything the stay at home order is still it's still a pain people are still suffering people are still struggling to get ends mean so do the right thing do the right thing that's what nigerians are asking for so people that's the news reaching us at the moment um i do want you to leave your comment and your take on this and let's hear what um, your thoughts are do share your thoughts um down below in the comment section and um, I want to take this time to say thank you to everyone that have subscribed. Um, if you've been watching our channel without subscribing, please do us the favor by clicking on the subscribe button down below. And also do give us a thumbs up if you if you like what we are doing here. We want to um, get that from you. And um, please do like, share, and comment. And like I said, do give us a thumbs up. Um, um, we want to hear your feedback as well. So um, till I come your way again, bye for now and God bless.